this activity, we're going to be editing an existing Photoshop file to create multiple layers so that we can animate them separately within After Effects, specifically using the transformation tool. I've opened up my digital file and I'm going to make a duplication so that I don't have to worry about saving over my previous work. I need the eyes of this digital painting to be on a separate layer to the portrait and so I am going to remove the eyes from this layer. To do that I'm just going to use some selection tools and I'm going to start by using quick selection. I can click and paint over where that eye is. If I make a mistake and go out of the edges, I can click the subtraction tool and remove that in the selection. Then I can press delete and I'll have a void through that image into the background. I'm going to also try the polygon lasso tool. Click and move your mouse to draw around the selection. You are using um, a straight line with this tool, and so if you've got a rounded object, your clicks will have to be closer together. Once that shape is closed, you can press delete and again you'll get the void through that digital painting into the background. The next thing that I need to do is draw in the eyeballs. I'm going to make a layer per section of the eye. So I'll have a reflective dot layer, a pupil layer, an iris layer, and then the whites of the eye. And I have to be careful that the visual hierarchy puts them in that order. Now I've got four different layers, but I want all of those parts of the eye to move at the same time when I animate them, as a human eye does. Your pupil doesn't detach from your iris. And so I'm going to turn off the other layers. So I'm turning off the visibility for my other layers so that only the eyeball is showing. And I'm going to layer and merge visible layers. So anything that was visible is now one layer. And I'm calling that eyes. I'm saving this image as a separate image from my original and I'm then going to import it into After Effects to animate.
So I've opened After Effects and I'm selecting New Project and then I'm going to complete my compositional setting options. So I've imported my digital layer and I'm making sure that I've got editable layers. I'm going to click that folder option and drag it down to the layers tab. I'm now going to spend time labeling the layers and adjusting the dimensions of the image that I've imported. Now I'm going to lock some of the extra layers, so my background image, digital painting, because I don't want those sections to move. The only part I'm going to move is the eyes layer. So I'm going to open up the little arrow to the left of that layer, and you can see now I have the word transform. These options are specific to movement, opacity, scale. So I'm going to open the transform arrow as well. And you can see now that I've got all of those little tools and I've got these keyframe stopwatches. So I'm going to turn on the keyframes. This indicates how it is going to start. You can see in my timeline, I've got little blue dots. If I move the timing along and then move the eye, you can see it automates a new keyframe. If I drag my time frame along, you can see the movement automate in between those two keyframes that I selected. So I'm going to go forward in time and I'm going to move the eyes again. and I'm copying and pasting that first keyframe. So that's where my eyes began, and I'm going to copy and paste it to the end. going to spend some time moving around those keyframes to get different effects. If the keyframes are close together, the movement will occur faster. If they're further apart and more spaced, it's a slower movement.
If you select all of the keyframes and then hold down Alt while dragging one, you can increase or decrease the amount of time in between each keyframe.